Alright, hello everybody, I am Godric Falcar, and welcome to Minecraft. Minecraft is always on Thursdays, and it's Thursday today, so uh, welcome to Minecraft, basically. Um, and today is another segment of Surreal News. Um, this is number five now. We've been going for five weeks now, every Thursday. I do a little Minecraft, and we talk about the most recent gaming news. Um, so, one thing everybody's kind of talking about right now is Witcher 3. Um, I do like Witcher 3 quite a bit. I haven't played it, I've seen it, and I've played and beaten the first and the second Witcher personally. Um, they are very difficult games, to be honest, but I really like them. Um, because they are challenging. Games like uh, Dark Souls and things, I've always enjoyed a whole lot just because they're so difficult that it makes it fun. And I'm really bad at this, but I think this is the same spot I was last time. I got a new computer, so I had to replay up to the point where we were at last time in Minecraft. But yeah, Witcher 3. Uh, they have a new um, realistic cinematic that is gorgeous. Just uh, go on YouTube, type it in, Witcher 3 cinematic. Um, they always release when the game comes out, and the game was either supposed to release tonight or tomorrow, I don't know, but it's been delayed a couple of days. Some people already have it if you live in a certain country. I think Europe has it right now. I'm not sure because they were a day ahead of us anyway, and so they got it today. But in the U.S., I know it's been stalled up. And I got the game, and I got a code, and I went online to put it in, and the website is being spanned with so many different fake codes that they actually, like, shut it down. Um, so they're working on it right now, but if you got it, I, I got it with NVIDIA, um, and if you got it with them too, it probably won't work until they figure out that bug. So that's kind of bad, but... Um, that game looks really cool, free roamy kind of game. Like I said, cinematic, check it out. I won't quite put a link in it. It's pretty gory and uh, interesting, just like the rest of the games. And, of course, they're always kind of sad. Um, what else is there? Okay, so Life is Strange Part 3, Episode 3, I should say, is coming out this coming week, this next week. Um, and if you've been all... Uh, on my channel at all, basically, you know that I am currently doing a playthrough of episode one, and I will do episode two. Um, I have all of the episodes, I have the DLC, um, and as they come out, I will go ahead and play them. Oh, dang it, barely missed that. But, like, like I said, I've been playing it, and it's a great game. If you haven't seen it, feel free to check it out, but I'm sure you've seen it. I think, uh, Almost every YouTuber I know has played it. Jack um, has played it. PewDiePie's played it. Um, who else? Cryotic. I like Cryotic a lot. He plays that as well. And I'm going to get through these two episodes, and three comes out next week. Um, another game, Season 3 of Walking Dead. Kind of like that. It's a Telltale game, but the Walking Dead series. It's been delayed, I'm afraid. Um, it may not even be out in 2015. Uh, which is a long time. Man, that's going to take a while. Um, personally, I didn't like watching people play the game, and I haven't played them myself. I probably should. Um, I, I'll consider buying it if some people ask me to play it. Um, but I do really like the Walking Dead series. I just really didn't like the Walking Dead games. Um, because I feel like if I'm going to play a game like that, where it requires extreme choices and things like that, then I should be playing it, not uh, watch somebody make choices that I feel weren't always the best choices. Um, and I guess you could say that about any Telltale game, just like right now, like I said, I'm playing... Uh... Ooh, no, I didn't quite make that. But right now, I'm playing Life is Strange, and that's kind of the same concept where you see somebody make choices, and you kind of go, well, why did you do that? As I play, I try to explain my choices. I try to say, well, I went this path because of this, and this, and this. Feel free to go check that out. I'm not trying to advertise for myself. This is about The Walking Dead. But like I said, I really like the series because that's a straight line. I don't really know what's going to happen, but I mean, the director and whatever, tell me what's going on as we go along. But the game, it's a lot of different choices, and there's a lot of different paths that can be made. 
What else do we have? Okay, so this week we have a lot of interesting stuff um, that has been delayed or it's coming out. Um, the first thing I wanted to mention in the last episode I talked about, Fallout 4, which I'm very much uh, looking forward to because I really like the Fallout games. But 1, 2, and 3 I liked a lot more than kind of the offspring kind of things to that. Um, like New Vegas. I really like New Vegas. It just didn't have that same appeal as the original numbers always seem to in a series like that. Fallout 4, they just saw on, I think it was LinkedIn, they are actually hiring somebody to create the trailer for Fallout 4. So it is coming. Um, once they get the trailer, I'm sure it'll be out as soon as possible. So they get that initial opening thing going on. It probably won't be this year. It'll probably be the beginning of next year, or maybe Christmas. Fallout tends to be a very Christmas-oriented release date kind of thing. Um, we have some DLCs releasing. I talked last time about the GTA 5 mods um, that are coming out. Oh, wow, I'm just right there, aren't I? Oh, how do I make those gaps? I can't run any faster than I am now. Can you squat and go faster than that? I don't know. But, yeah, like I said, I talked about the GTA modeling mods last time, um, which were you could basically become animals, and then there's all kinds of uh, interesting new mods that they added. Wow, this is annoying. I don't know how to make long jumps in this game, apparently. But, um, yeah, so there's a bunch of weird mods. They're getting all kinds of attention. Um, I saw some mod where it literally puts the entire city under water. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. Um, there was a couple mods. One was called, like, Flying Jesus or something, and you can be a character that flies around, or I, I have no idea. But there was all kinds of really cool mods like that. Um, and Dying Light's actually getting a new DLC. I think it's going to be in the next month or so. Uh, Dying Light's a very cool game. I, I kind of liked um, d just games like that. The zombie games, I mean, they, they kind of overdo them in a way. Um, but I like those kind of games where you can be in a world by yourself and do that kind of thing. But the new DLCs are kind of um, more orchestrated towards co-op. So you could play with more people, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see. I don't know how to get over there. By any means, I've got no clue. I'm jumping. I'm not sure if double clicking makes me actually go faster. I don't think it would. Oh, okay, I got it that time. Hmm. Ooh, sorry, I'm trying to make these jumps. Okay, so I gotta hit that one block and then go off. Alright, but um, I think that did speed me up just initially jogging, which doesn't seem quite right. Alright, what else do we got? Okay, like I said, Dying Light's getting a new co-op-based DLC. Um, so that should be pretty neat. I always love those kind of games. Um, speaking of kind of a co-op multiplayer system, uh, Xbox One is getting their first MOBA, which is Smite. I've actually played Smite quite a bit myself on my computer, but it's actually coming to the Xbox One. Which should be interesting. If you haven't played Smite, it's kind of like League of Legends, but in third-person perspective, and you actually have to be good at the game. Um, not to diss anybody who likes League of Legends. I did play that for a year or two. Um, but Smite, most of your moves have to be aimed perfectly, rather than just you use a move and you click somebody. And so you have to uh, shoot it out in a specified direction or time it perfectly and if you've seen they have a big tournament and everything it's high-res games they're pretty cool industry honestly and they're actually doing a um, a little gift package right now where if you buy it through the game uh, you can help people in Nepal and things like that and so very cool company um, very very down-to-earth company compared to um, the League of Legends company, which is rather big. They are they get a bit big for their britches every now and then just because there's so many people. Um, but Smite is a lot more like Dota in the fashion, and I've always liked Dota more than League. I don't know. I was an original Dota player, and so Dota 2, when that came out, I did play that for a short amount of time. Uh, there's just so many MOBAs out these days that it's just hard to care anymore. 
Uh, about those, I mean. I mean, gaming's a lot of fun, and you play them for a while, and then you get bored. I did play the most recent World of Warcraft one, Heroes of the Storm, and that was pretty good. That wasn't bad, honestly. Um, of, of course, it didn't... It didn't seem like it needed to get out of beta, and I think they're going to release a full version soon, which it just seemed like it was lacking in a lot of different places. Um, what else? Okay, yeah, speaking of Blizzard, actually, going right right from uh, right from World of Warcraft to Blizzard there, uh, I'm sure you've heard they've banned tons of accounts. Apparently, um, there was just some guy that snapped well I don't know if they snapped but for years now there's been botting of course any game you play that's online it requires a lot of time to gather things collect things make money etc it's going to have bots um, RuneScape the prime peak example um, RuneScape takes hours and hours and it's literally just a collecting and selling kind of game. There's crafting involved, but it's literally just more collecting so you can craft just so you can sell. It's the same kind of process. Um, and of course there's going to be boss just because it takes hours and hours and hours. But apparently they banned over a hundred thousand accounts, not just characters. They didn't just get rid of the characters. They ban the accounts from playing, which usually means they ban the IP. And so if you try to make another account on the IP, it won't allow you. I don't know if that's completely accurate, but that's usually how they do that. Um, but yeah, they were just getting rid of them. Some guy was like, nope, no more botting. And uh, they just kicked a bunch of people off. I, I assume if they had like pre- uh, if people had reported them a certain amount of time, that kind of thing, or if they had been previously banned for a certain amount of time just because of these activities, then they were just completely removed, which is pretty crazy. Um, and that's about all I have for the main news. Um, there's a couple games that I want to talk about that have been delayed or are coming out. Last time we talked about a Jurassic Park game. Uh, that should be coming sometime soon-ish. And, uh, or if it's not out already, I honestly haven't been paying attention because most movie games I just write off as stupid and I move on with my life. I'm sorry if you don't feel that way, but I kind of do, because they never seem to turn out quite right. Spider-Man's a little different. The original Spider-Mans were pretty good. I enjoyed those a lot. Um, and the Amazing Spider-Man game honestly wasn't too bad. The movies were pretty okay. They've they've redone it so many times, and I kind of wish Spider-Man was more accurate to the comic. Look at me being a nerd right now. But that doesn't have quite the same thing. Anyway, Jurassic Park, the game is coming out. I kind of go off on tangents every now and then. But um, Lego Jurassic Park. Of course, if you have any kind of game that can be related to children, they have to make it a Lego version. So that's coming out uh, sometime soon, maybe in the next month. And one thing I was very sad about, Tom Clancy's The Division, if you've heard of it, then you know what it is. If you haven't, obviously you don't. It's another Tom Clancy game, so kind of a run-and-gun kind of game, but they've been very good about this one. The Division is kind of a New York. It's literally the city of New York attached to Manhattan, basically. And it's a completely free roam zone. And you can play with multiple people, make a squad, and then um, the NPCs have different uh, events that just basically occur. It's kind of like an MMORPG, but you're in this actual city. And you have guns and drones and most recent technology. And there's other actual people in the same city that you're in and so you could come up on an event where somebody's trying to rob like a store and then you stop it or you go in and try to take over a base or whatever to get supplies and you get more supplies and you move on and what was really cool about this um, feel free to check it out Tom Clancy the division basically um, it's probably gonna be on the newer consoles and definitely PC I would imagine um, but their big kind of interesting pull-in was you could actually play it on like an iPad. Um, and if you played it on an iPad, you would become this drone, um, kind of like the Amazon drones that, uh, everybody's been really interested in recently. And you actually had a gun. And so you could kind of, uh, help your group and fly around 
and uh, all that. And basically, the commercial was really funny because they had this guy with his iPad, and he was a drone that was helping them scope out the enemy and helping them kill them, basically. And like, I think you can plant strikes and that kind of thing. Um, but he was literally just taking a dump on his toilet with his iPad in his hand doing this. Um, and so that was kind of, like, neat. It was kind of a cool, okay, I can be away from my console or large device and still play the game and help my friends or whatever. And so that was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, and like I said, it's like a free roam and a run and gun. I don't know what happens if you die. I assume you spawn out at a specific point. Um, but you, I'm pretty sure there was levels and there was like quests and things, quests, um, activities and events, like I said, and you just upgrade your weapons as you go along and the larger event you attempt, the more stuff you get. Seemed really cool, but it was delayed until 2016 is my main point, which really sucks. I was really looking forward to it. Normally, I, a lot of the Tom Clancy games, they're very specified to the Xbox I don't have an Xbox One, and I was afraid it would end up on there, but now it's delayed. Hopefully it's delayed for a good reason. Maybe they are adjusting it to the PS4 and the and the PC, hopefully, so I can get it too. But I've been talking quite a long time and not playing a whole lot of Minecraft, haven't I? Um, but, oh yeah, I have to get an initial sprinter. It just doesn't work. I'm so dumb. All right, but uh, an another thing that I saw that I just thought was kind of cool is um, Gears of War is actually remastering um, in HD their games. And so Gears of War is going to be coming out with, I don't think, a new game, but they are going to come out with the remastered version of all the games in high definition, I think, so you can play them on, uh, of course, a higher quality, but maybe you can play them on the... Um, the place it, I just completely ran backwards. <laughs> I'm a moron. But so you could play them um, just over again, kind of. Um, but they remastered them a bit. Maybe they'll include all the DLCs. Um, I was honestly a big Gears of War fan because I've always kind of owned an Xbox. And uh, it was one of those original games on Xbox that if you had an Xbox, you kind of just had Gears of War. Um, and it was just gory, and you fought aliens, and it was super cool, super cool game. And, uh, yeah, so they'll remaster that, maybe put it out for PS4, Xbox One, looking forward to that. And then the last thing, um, which I seem to just come up with these every single time I look through information, another game movie is coming out. Now, I don't think you could guess this or see it coming unless you absolutely knew about it, but a Ratchet and Clank movie. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's going to release April 29th of 2016, and I've got no clue why that is happening or why they're making a movie out of Ratchet and Clank. And I'm not bad talking Ratchet and Clank. Now, I really loved Ratchet and Clank. Of course, when they came out back in the day um, with the original PlayStation, PlayStation 2, oh, I played the crap out of those games. They were great, along with um, Dex, the Dexter games. I really liked those, too. Um, they were kind of the same, like, animal person with guns doing things. But they're making a movie out of it, and I'm not exactly sure what they're doing at this point with that. And like a lot of the old PlayStation games, they've kind of turned them into a console portable kind of thing. Like the PS... Like, the last one, I think, came out for the PSP, and I didn't have a PSP, and I was kind of annoyed by that. But... Yeah, they, they haven't, like, come out with a game in a long time, and then this movie comes out, and I was like, I've got no clue what they're doing anymore. Franchise is kind of dead, but uh, if you haven't played any of the Ratchet Clank games, it's basically Banjo-Kazooie with guns. Um, like, your main character is an animal, and he's got an animal companion and you shoot things and the whole point was to upgrade like a bazillion different guns in a bazillion different ways um, and then you just I don't know you go you shoot things I think aliens I don't remember the enemy exactly um, and it was Ratchet who was uh, this like fox guy I don't remember exactly what he is he's like a uh, a meerkat I think something like that 
And then he's got his friend Clank, who's in his back, in his backpack. Kind of like any other story where there's a, an animal character, he's got a little friend in his backpack or whatever. Kind of like Banjo-Kazooie. And then you had uh, just weapons that you would upgrade, and you would shoot things and collect uh, screws and bolts and things. And it was it was a really interesting game. But a movie? I can't see it, honestly, myself. But... Uh, let me know if I missed anything down in the comments. These are just the main points that I saw that I thought you guys should know and I thought was personally pretty interesting. Um, so let me know if I missed anything or if you want me to do anything, basically. Um, at this point, I may continue playing Minecraft. I may also mix it up with a bunch of different games. I considered playing Mountain Blade today. Um, if you've never played Mountain Blade, it's really cool. Um, Mountain Blade's kind of a game where you work with a large group of warriors and things, but when you go into battles, it's you individually can make a difference. Like, you get to swing your sword specific weapons, specific directions and things, and use specific weapons. But anyway, that's a really cool game. Uh, so let me know if you want me to play other games while I do this. That's fine with me, because Minecraft, um, it's good, but uh, of course it's kind of taxing if you play it too much. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, naturally, I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Check back next week for some more surreal gaming news. And bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.